is a live picture of Covington Road where crews are tearing down all of the homes here that were severely damaged in this explosion last night. Good evening once again. Neighbors say it sounded like a bomb went off in their own backyard. The explosion in North Buffalo happened last night. Police have now arrested the homeowner here, 73-year-old Santo Cook. He's in the hospital at ECMC. He's facing a number of charges, including arson. Investigators say that he blew up his own home to try and take his own life. And one neighbor telling 7 Eyewitness News reporter Justin Moore, she can't believe she's still alive. God was with us, I'll tell you. Mary Eileen Terry Pecky says she's blessed to be alive. Her home was destroyed in last night's explosion, and she likely would have been home at the time had she not worked overtime at the Buffalo Medical Group. 20 minutes I would have been in the kitchen probably blown out with this explosion that happened. Police say her 73 year old neighbor blew up his home on purpose in a suicide attempt. Terry Packey lost nearly 30 years of memories. I've got my mom's ring here that was tarnished and we found it in the fire. This was her family ring. Terry Packey says she's also grateful to her neighbor, Marine veteran Lee Kaiser. He kicked in the back door to pull Terry Packey's two dogs to safety. We made sure that the dogs were okay. We got them to the neighbor's house, um, made sure that there was nobody else, which was incredibly lucky that no one was in the house, either house uh, on either side. That's an absolute miracle to me in itself. And tonight, this neighborhood is coming together to support the two neighboring families who lost everything. It is difficult. It's difficult. But the saving grace is that we're all safe. And even the gentleman who tried to blow up his house, he's safe too. Terry Pecky says she forgives her neighbor for what he did, and she's going to take life one day at a time as she starts from scratch. In North Buffalo, Justin Moore, 7 Eyewitness News.